a temporary agreement has been reached between the pharmaceutical company Roche and the National Institution for Clinical Excellence. A managed access agreement has been created to enable patients with spinal muscular atrophy to access a drug known as Rizdaplan. Spinal muscular atrophy is a progressive neurological condition, which means the messages from the brain don't get to the muscles properly, meaning that the muscles get weaker over time. However, some patients were able to receive the treatment before this agreement was created. When I first started it, I noticed some incremental minor things. I felt stronger and um, I was able to make some progress on the kind of muscle chart tests that they do. Able-bodied people are born with two types of survival motor neuron. These are labelled as SMN1 and SMN2. SMN1 is responsible for large movements, such as the movements of arms and legs, whilst SMN2 keeps the individual alive. In patients with SMA, the SMN1 protein has either died or mutated. What Ristoplam does is it takes the SMN2 protein and splits it in half, therefore creating more SMN1s. This, therefore, stops the progression of the condition and potentially makes the patient stronger. I've been talking to SMA UK about how important access to the drug really is. I mean, I, th I think it's huge for the SMA community because um, it brings choice for some, but for others, it's the first time they've got access to a treatment because this one is delivered orally. And the one that's been available, which is called Nusinersen or Spinraza, um, is via lumbar puncture. And that doesn't work for everybody. So again, you know, uh, something you can take at home is, is a huge breakthrough. So really, really important to the SMA community. It is expected that in the next three years, Rush and NICE will come to a final agreement on the funding of the treatment. Ben Morris, Winchester News Online.